Hi, this is Chris Berninger with Carbon Black. This is a short demonstration to show the integration between Carbon Black Response, IBM's Q Radar, and IBM's Big Fix Technologies in order to detect, respond, and quickly remediate a live security incident. This tight technical integration is part of IBM and Carbon Black's long-standing strategic partnership. The way that I'll be demonstrating the integration is through a live spear phishing attack. So on the left hand side of your screen, you have the end user's machine, the good guy machine, where I will open up the malicious PDF that's attached to the email. And then on the right hand side of your screen, you have the bad guy machine, essentially the adversary waiting in the alert, uh, waiting for the PDF to be open. So I'm going to go ahead and fall prey to the spear phishing attack and open up that PDF and you'll see that Adobe launches momentarily and then goes away. Uh, the worst news here is that the remote administration tool on the bad guys machine now has a new entry for that end user system where he can grab passwords, do remote desktop, grab webcam, grab sound, right, essentially has full reign over that computer. So at this point the adversary might do something like trying to uh, ping for uh, servers that might be nearby that uh, he wants to steal data from or maybe run some Windows commands such as the who am I command where he can understand uh, the system that he's compromised and who's logged on to it and what privileges they have. Now at this point in time I'm going to go ahead and close out the attack itself and pivot over into Q Radar, which is really the heart of our security operations center where I'll start to show how these solutions will help us detect, respond, and remediate this incident. So the home page of QRadar, you can see dashboards here that are focused around Carbon Black as well as Big Fix. Also, there is a Carbon Black Response app in the QRadar App Store, so you can get that from the IBM App Exchange, uh, where you can see things like detection events. So we can see that we saw a new detection event a few seconds ago, which corresponds to the attack that I just ran. Also, as a single pane of glass without even leaving Q Radar, by virtue of this app, you can also search Carbon Black Response endpoint data. Uh, you can isolate a system to quarantine or, or isolate that system from the network slash internet if that system is infected. You can ban files as well, which will terminate a live process if it's running, and it won't let that relaunch in the future. Now, the main thing that QRadar does is take information from disparate data sources and let you correlate that into actionable offenses. So here we do see some items coming in from the Carbon Black server, and I have some right-click functionality available here as well. So for example, I can take a sensor action against our good guy machine. So here directly from QRadar, I can isolate that machine via right-click and or do something like synchronizing the sensor really to grab just those last couple of minutes of near real-time data. As the security analyst investigating the attack, now what I want to do is start my investigation by pivoting off of this IP address, 10.0.0.7, uh, which is the remote address that we saw uh, connecting out to the command and control server. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do a CB response process search directly from the QRadar console. And what you'll see is a simple query, which is asking Carbon Black, uh, what do you know from the endpoint perspective about processes that have reached out to this 10.0.0.7 address? So I'm going to go ahead and sort the results uh, to get the most recent results here at the top. And what you can see is, sure enough, just three minutes ago on that good guy machine, we did see Adobe Acrobat reaching out to that IP address. Now here's where the real power of CB response comes in. I'm going to go ahead and expand this uh, process analysis tree out. And what you're really looking at is essentially a visualization of the Lockheed Martin kill chain. And all of this corresponds to the attack that I just ran just a couple of minutes ago, right? This is near real time. So first of all, on the far left-hand side of your screen, you can see the end user was in Thunderbird, which is the email client where I opened up the PDF. Uh, next, I can see that Adobe Acrobat was launched, and I can even see uh, by virtue of CB response collecting exact command lines, uh, the name of the PDF, the malicious PDF that was opened. I can also see that this is an older version of Adobe and one that has some national vulnerability database hits, which will play into uh, part of our remediation story in a moment with Big Fix. Right after the malicious PDF was opened, a file called rund11.exe was executed. 
This particular file happens to be a known virus, which is part of uh, CB Response's uh, real-time detection lookup. But even if this was a brand new file targeted at your organization, uh, some of the pattern-based matching here, such as carbon black icon matching uh, and, and endpoint suspicious indicators feed triggered as well. So we're gonna even find uh, zero days or, or custom-ridden malware in these types of scenarios also. Uh, and then finally, you can see this last cmd.exe. Well, if you think back to the attack, the very last thing that I did was a remote shell where I did a ping command. You'll recall I ping 10.0.0.1. Well, here's evidence of that right there. And then the who am I command uh, to try to see who is logged on to the system. Uh, the great news here from a security responder perspective is within just a couple of minutes, you can see precisely what happened, not only on just this one endpoint, but it's also uh, trivial now to pivot and see what happened on the other hundreds or thousands of endpoints uh, in my environment. Now, from this point in Carbon Black Response, I can take some one-off uh, one remediation actions. I talked uh, about a few of these that you can do directly from our QRadar app as well, but you can ban a hash, for example, to terminate a malicious process and not let that relaunch in the future. You can isolate or quarantine a host, and then even if you've isolated or quarantined it, you can use this go live function to essentially remote into a machine to do things like taking a memory dump or uh, deleting files or running scripts or things of that nature. But when we start talking about remediating a system across thousands of endpoints, that's really where we start talking about IBM's big fix. And so there's a, a, a lot of direct, tight integration between Carbon Black and Big Fix, and as well, QRadar and Big Fix also. So one of the uh, first pieces of integration here uh, is this Manage Vulnerable Computer Dashboard. And what this is, and, and you know, Gartner uh, has recently identified the number one issue in vulnerability management to be active attack remediation. In other words, being able to take an active attack and, and remediate that and know about that happening in near real time. So what Carbon Black Response has done here has, is to have notified Big Fix that in fact a vulnerable application just ran on this good guy machine. And not only that uh, it ran on this one machine, but also that this was a targeted computer, which means that it was part of a, an otherwise a detection event. Right, so we know that this vulnerable application was run in the context of uh, another security incident, which is very valuable information. So by virtue of having this information, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and remediate via patching. So I have a patch here available for a more a recent version of Adobe, Adobe 11 in this case. Now what's powerful here is you can see there are actually 209 systems that have this exact same vulnerability uh, that this particular good guy machine had as well. So I can patch the good guy machine for sure, and I'm going to go ahead and kick that off right now. Um, but importantly, I can also patch those other couple of hundred machines, thereby making my entire environment safer and less vulnerable to the same type of attack. Now while that patch is running, I'm going to point out some other pieces of integration here. So there are several fixlets that are available for Big Fix uh, within Carbon Black. So you can think of a fixlet as just a, a portable uh, module of, of code, if you will, that you can drop right into your Big Fix server. And in this case, these are available on BigFix.me as well as the IBM App Exchange. So the types of things that you can do as part of this integration is you can deploy Carbon Black sensors silently. Uh, you can ensure that Carbon Black sensors are always up and running. Uh, you can get health check uh, status and, and sort of sensor status information. Uh, my favorite feature is the banned file one, which is to say that if I had banned a file as part of the security investigation, uh, what happens then is Carbon Black will automatically uh, put that into a new fixlet within Big Fix, and then all I have to do to clean up the environment or really to uh, sort of remove the malware everywhere that it may exist uh, is to click this button to go ahead and delete that file. In this case, on the one applicable computer where it exists, uh, but again, that might have been a file that exists across hundreds or thousands of machines, and now you have a single button to clean that up very quickly. So now that we've given our Adobe patch a couple of minutes to run, let's actually go back and revisit our original uh, demo scenario. And you can see that everything is identical to the way it was at the beginning of the demo. The one exception here is that we've patched Adobe 9 to Adobe 11. So let me go ahead and uh, sort of be that same unsuspecting end user and open up that PDF. Now what you'll notice this time that's different is now I can actually read the PDF and most importantly, if you look on the right-hand side of your screen, there was never a connection made 
back to the adversary's machine. And that's simply by virtue of the fact that Big Fix has now remediated the issue, uh, brought Adobe up to a modern patch level, which is going to be much less vulnerable and won't fall prey to that same uh, security attack. And this is really powerful because we took a, an incident response and we were able to actually make our entire environment safer as a result of that. So to conclude, the integration of IBM's Q-Radar, Carbon Black Response, and IBM's Big Fix allows us to quickly detect, respond, and remediate security issues as they occur in our environment. Thank you.